And investigators are looking into a hate crime after three transgender women were attacked and one allegedly robbed. The victims say instead of helping them, witnesses mocked them. Matt Gutman has that story, and we should warn you, this video may be hard to watch. The LAPD says it's closing in on the suspect in this vicious apparent hate crime. Oh, oh, oh. This video, a 26-minute chronicle of harassment of three transgender women right on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. The incident and that mockery... Yeah, I think that's a dude. ...igniting a firestorm on social media. Eden Estrada, Jasleen Boussinet, and Jocelyn Allen say the man had been hassling them earlier. Then he stole Estrada's phone. Initially, we all chased after him to retrieve my phone, but bystanders around us started to make surround fun of us, us and too. surrounded us and started throwing rocks, lighters, um, started calling us men. Police say the suspect, armed with a metal bar, robbed Allen and later struck Boussinet in the head with a bottle. Damn. According to the most recent FBI data released, hate crimes directed at transgender individuals increased 42% in one year. Because we're trans, nobody cared. But I think I'm going to start talking. One of the things that was so concerning about this incident to people who've watched it online, and it's now millions of people, is that it happened right here on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. This was out in public. There were people around, even though it was 2 o'clock in the morning, Diane, and none of them rendered aid. And in fact, you can see from that video that uh, some of those onlookers, the people who were filming, they even seemed to goad on that alleged assailant, telling him, you know, that's a man, don't let him mess with you. Uh, essentially uh, angering him even more, fueling some of that wrath that he took out on those three transgender women. All of it happened publicly on a main street here in downtown Hollywood, not far from the famous Man Chinese Theater, and that's something that really upset people online. Um, it's not a crime to do that. But certainly, uh, I think the Internet right now and social media is drawing vengeance against uh, the people who just stood by and didn't even render aid when one of those women, uh, Boussinet, was lying in the street, uh, having been uh, hit in the back of the head with the bottle. Yeah, Diane. emotions are high here, understandably so, Matt. But these women now want justice. The LAP says, LAPD says they're closing in on a suspect. What do we know about that part of the investigation? So we talked about the social media aspect of it, right? So there is a tremendous amount of social media interaction here. Um, uh, Eden Estrada, who is uh, the, the blonde woman who was attacked as well, uh, she has an enormous Instagram following, and she basically sicked Twitter and Instagram on the man she believes to have been the suspect. Uh, Twitter and the police sort of cooperated in a weird, uh, non-official way. And basically, police say they now believe they know who the suspect is. They do say they are closing in on him. Um, I suspect that an arrest might happen in the coming days, unclear exactly when. Uh, we do know at this point that he is, the suspect would be charged with robbery and a hate crime if arrested, but at this point, police don't actually have him in custody. Diane. Right. Solving crimes with the help of Twitter. Matt Gutman in Los Angeles. We appreciate it, Matt. Thanks. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.